Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today is June 28th and I wanted to give you an aerial view of my garden. Starting right down there is a grapevine growing along the railing. I've got some different herbs in there. Brussels sprouts, tomatoes in containers, strawberries. That white shelving unit in there is a six foot piece of shelving I bought at Home Depot. I'm going to be doing a video on that and that's how to build cucumber trellis, bean trellis. Down in there are some um, asparagus. I got some acorn squash down there, more tomatoes. Right smack dab in the middle are my perennial flowers that I use to attract insects. That's butterfly bush, the orange flowers, purple cone flower, echinacea. Some more tomatoes in containers and in a uh, raised bed. Up on top of the hill, I have another raised bed of tomato plants. That's an old clubhouse. Now that the kids are older, that was converted into a compost house. And coming back down, you can see more tomatoes, peppers, eggplant. Right by the bird feeder are my cucumbers. More tomatoes in there. On the far side of the fence is a grapevine. That's a Concord grape. And coming back around is the other side of my yard. And there are zucchini, cucumbers, onions, more tomatoes, asparagus, dill, kohlrabi, a spaghetti squash growing along the railing there. Straight down, more kohlrabi and beans that are coming up. Tracking across to the deck. This is my herb garden, clematis vine, potted perennial plants that I grew from seed, my container garden up there on the deck. That is a, that massive vine there is actually supposed to be a kiwi plant. It's more of a, I don't know, I think modified type gooseberry. But I've had it for five years now. Hasn't flowered, hasn't fruited. It is a male and female plant. I wish it would. Um, but I guess I'm doing something wrong. Apple tree up there. More wildflowers, perennial flowers, and again that's to attract insects into my yard. And up top there is my big oak tree, more flowers, my pine tree. But this is generally the space that I work in. It has everything that I show in all my videos and I thought I would just give you a different perspective of my garden. And I do want to stress uh, one thing is the perennial flowers down there really, really make a difference. You can even see some baby's breath, the white flowers on the side. I just cut the grass, but I have a lot of clover in there. I haven't seen one honeybee this year, um, which is really unusual, and I know there's a lot of talk about them dying out. But these perennial flowers have brought in the uh, black bumblebees, and they are really pollinating everything in my garden. So if you have trouble with pollination um, of your plants, really putting in perennial flowers makes a huge difference and you can see that I just scatter them throughout my yard and the pollinating insects really just travel you know through the whole garden and hit your zucchini squash cucumbers and everything that really needs an insect to help pollinate them hope you enjoyed the video please check out my blog at www.thrustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos thanks